Hello and welcome to the Christopher Hall Training Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about a limitation to the McKenzie method. So without further ado, let's get into it. The McKenzie method is a method used to overcome lower back pain. And uh, we're going to talk about a concept within that that is um, from from an anatomical perspective and a certain lower back pain perspective is correct but that's around that is where the limitation lies and how the method has is being used is where the limitation lies not necessarily in the information itself because the information itself is correct um, if used in the right way and that is kind of where the um, the limitation lies. So the, the concept that we're talking about is centralization. Now centralization is basically when when you get a certain type of lower back pain you can get pain going down the back of the legs and when that pain begins to regress back up the legs into the buttocks and into the central part of the back that is what is known as centralization and as a as a means of describing it to people as pain changes things are changing which is a good thing so from that perspective as the pain goes back up the legs be it the right or the left um then pain uh, sort of structures are changing within the lower back or how they're responding to the lower back and therefore the pain is changing and therefore the pain is regressing back um, to where it came from. So that in a very brief nutshell is what centralization is but I guess the sort of the first part of the limitation to how it's being used is not all lower back pain goes down the legs so you can't really categorize it as lower back pain. You have to categorize it. So low, lower back pain would be the umbrella term. That's fine. But there are many different types of lower back pain that sit underneath that umbrella term. And not all of the different types of lower back pain have pain going down the back of the legs. That can just be um, categorized as sciatica. And again, we have to then think about the symptoms because when we get pain going down the back of the legs, it can be sciatica. It can also be two other things which have very similar symptoms which have to be understood. So the other one is glute medius or glute minimus trigger points. Now, depending on the trigger point, will depend on how far down the leg it goes and where in the leg it goes. So again, that has to be understood. And then the other one is piriformis syndrome. So that is another, um, um, what would you call it, condition that has symptoms that go down the back of the leg. Or it's certainly in the buttock, but down the back of the leg. So again, that has to be understood. So... It wouldn't be a limitation if that was all being un understood and taken care of from a evaluation and assessment perspective. Now, this is Robin McKenzie's um, uh, Treat Your Own Back book. Now again, I understand that doesn't hold all the answers, but it doesn't necessarily talk about sciatica. It talks about lower back pain um, as the umbrella term, but it doesn't subcategorize it and sort of break it down and say, if you have sciatic symptoms or sciatica, then this will be advantageous for you. It then doesn't also mention glute medius, glute minimus, trigger points. It doesn't mention piriformis because they all have the same symptoms, but you have to understand the different cause to the same symptoms so if someone presents with pain going down the back of the legs you can't just jump in and start using 
Mackenzie method because it may not be true sciatica. It may be that it's a hip trigger point or that it's a piriformis um, uh, syndrome. And I've been able to experience all, th not me personally, but working with people, experience all three. So someone has come to me with pain going down the legs, we've evaluated it, we've understood it to be piriformis syndrome, we've worked on the piriformis syndrome, and the pain is gone. Again, not always the same symptoms, but similar symptoms in that they're going down the back of the leg. Sometimes the different parts of the leg um, will help us understand which one it is, but we've similar symptoms gone down the back of the leg. We've understood it to be hip trigger points. We've worked on those. It's gone. Same with sciatica. We found out to be sciatica and um, we've been able to reduce the symptoms. So we've, we've got it to a point where we can understand that, but that has to come through some degree of evaluation. Just by presenting with pain going down the back of the legs and saying, right, do this extension movement, do this flexion movement, whatever it may be, isn't necessarily um, the way forward and the thing to start doing. What we have to understand is, again, as I've mentioned before in other videos, is we have to understand lower back pain as the umbrella term and then we have to understand what the specific lower back pain we fall into, which we then need to go through some sort of assessment process.